Flandad here and today we're going to make some, guess what, do you think this is? Anyone can guess what this is? This is rosemary. So we're going to be using rosemary. One, this was plucked, not plucked, I cut this from my grandma's. I cut this from my mum's garden. Why did I say grandma? I cut, cut this from my mum's garden. See, fresh rosemary. She has loads of it. Look. Look how many I've got in there. So I'm going to take that. I've seen on other videos they use about 10. So I'm going to try and use as many as possible. So what I'm going to create is rosemary spray. Rosemary water spray. So rosemary water and use it as a spray. Because apparently rosemary is good for hair growth. And my hair <laughs> is a bit thin on top. I don't know if you've noticed from the videos, but my hair is thin on top. So I'm going to try and everything, every which way we can, to try and grow my hair. So you can see videos about rosemary, and rosemary has very good properties, and it's good for medicinal purposes as well. So now I'm going to put this in there, I'm going to boil it and make rosemary water. So I put it in that bottle there and make rosemary water. And then spray it on every day to see how that helps. Right, I'll give this a try. That's what it looks like there. So that's all the rosemary there. And I'm going to wash it before I boil it. So we have a rinse off. Rinse it off. Rinse it off. Rinse it off. You see, lots of rinse in there. Make sure there's no Insects, it hasn't had any fertilizers, it's been growing for years. It's a big bush in my mum's garden. So this is, you can see the water there, it's a bit green. There's a rinse off there. I think that should be enough. It looks like more than enough. So the whole objective of this is not to let it burn. So I'll use a bit of water. There you have it. And now this is going to go on the stove to boil. Ready. So I'm going to bring it to the boil and then let it simmer for about 30 minutes. So I'm bring that to the boil. Just simple that, rosemary, water, and then it goes in this bottle here. And that's your spray, that's it. Some people add other things like cloves, some, some people do the clove challenge. Some people put mint, but I'm just gonna use rosemary. Leave that to Ow. See on the other side. As you can see now, it's boiling up. Look at that. And the smell in here is gorgeous. Look at that. The smell of rosemary around the room. Now, now I have to turn it down. So after about three minutes, you turn it down. Turn it like that. Stop it boiling so it doesn't burn. There you go, you turn it down. Not off, turn it down. And leave that for about 15 to 20 minutes. No colour change in the water. Fresh rosemary. 
Time's up now. Stop watch there. Let's have a look at how green it is. It looks very potent. Can everybody spell the word potent for me? Spell potent. Okay. So a low heat there. Shall I give it one more minute? I don't want it to burn. You do not want this mixture to burn. Let's have a countdown guys. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and he, she, where is it? She, she, goes. Next thing I have to do is wait for this to cool down. Wait for it to cool down. And then the mixture goes into the bottle. This bottle was, I can't remember how much it was. Was it one pound from the pound shop? Okay, so spray bottle. There should be enough for probably two, I think. I've got one here. Ready to spray. Pepco home. Spray bottle 0.5. 0. Oh yes, it says they're one pound. Euro is one pound thirty, and then there's all the other. Oh gosh! Right, guys, see look. My finger in. Oh, yeah, it's cold. It's kind of um, kind of oily as well. Hmm, interesting. Rub some little bit of my hair. So what I'm going to be using this for is, is obviously the rosemary. I'm going to be using this to spray on my hair to try and regrow the hair. Try and get that regrowth going on so I can grow big hair. Big hair like lad. So I managed to find a measuring jug. So let's just get this pulled into here. Try and use a sink just in case you get spillages everywhere. Put more. Put the rest out. Okay, so I won't pour too much in because I've got to get this into the bottom. So there you have it. Um, and what it should turn out, it should turn out kind of like the colour like this. A greeny yellow colour. Okay, and that's going to go inside that bottom. Some people, for the oils, you can use, it's best to use a brown uh, brown glass bottle. But for the water, you can actually use these. So I'm gonna use one of these. So I'm gonna get this poured in here. Oh, it's quite easy. So there it is. Obviously it comes as a spray. And get this poured in. Let's be careful. Let's get this poured in. Okay, spinach. I always try and use a jug with the end there. It's not even halfway. It's not even halfway yet. Pour some more in. There you go. Get the last bit out of here. And this is a very potent mixture. This, I'm hoping this will restore. Oh, wait, hey. So I've still got some left and it's full for that up. So 0 0.5 litres and there's a bit more. So let's put this in, screw the top on. And I'll be using this 
you can when you make the mix when you're making this mixture you can use this at least every day every day okay let's see if it squirts yes it works it squirts so I don't want to waste it so it does work right now so that's my potion rosemary and I hope it works and um, hopefully I'll be using this with other products like castor oil as well. Alright guys, peace.